This is Luxembourg. Moin! Willkommen aus Luxembourg! Today I'm giving myself a budget of $75. And this is one of the world's most expensive countries. I want to see just how far my money goes. I start the day finding this small little cafe. It's certainly nothing special, but I feel like I need something to get the day going, so I order this small fresh juice and a matcha latte. $10. And that doesn't even include latte art. This is probably the cleanest city I've ever been to. Is this even real? Because it literally reminds me of Disneyland. Luxembourg is the second smallest country in the the EU after Malta. Its population is literally smaller than pretty much every US individual state. Luxembourg is located between France, Germany, and Belgium. Oh, and 80% of the people here are actually commuting here for work from the nearby countries. So now it's time to do a walking tour to really understand this place. If you Google free walking tour, most cities have an option where you can learn about the history and culture from an actual local. Yes, it's totally free, but it is expected that you will tip afterwards. I take the walking tour where I learned so much about how this country became so rich. We walk around the main town square and get this, today happens to be a special holiday week because they're preparing for the Grand Duke's birthday. This country is a duchery, which means yes, they literally have a Grand Duke. Today isn't his actual birthday, but this is kind of like our 4th of July Independence Day we would have in the US. I love these walking tours because you learn things you wouldn't otherwise learn. We go to churches and learn about the history of Luxembourg. The tour comes to an end and now it's time to to tip. My guide tells us that the average tip he receives is between $12 to $15 per person, so I decide to give $15. That was a really nice tour and I highly recommend uh, doing the free walking tours, especially if you're new to a place. I've done them from Europe to South America and you learn so much uh, about a place from a local. They're very simple. You could sign up literally an hour before and it's amazing. But now it's time to go for lunch because I am quite hungry. He recommended a couple restaurants, so I'm going to go check one out. But I learned here that kitchens actually usually close at 2 p.m. because they send the chefs home. So I better act fast. I find this local restaurant that is still serving. So I finally found a restaurant and what was interesting is the tour guide suggested three local food restaurants. Two of them were closed. Uh, because the kitchen closes at 2 p.m. and the third one was open luckily, but it's less than half full. And it's interesting because there were a lot of restaurants on the main street that had burgers, wraps, salads, and they were full. I mean, you couldn't get a table there. So it's interesting how people view local food here, I guess. I order this chicken pastry with mushrooms. My main dish comes with this delicious salad and it also has fries. The price for this full lunch is $30, but let me just say it's really delicious. This was definitely a lot of money, but I'm starting to get used to it here in Luxembourg. And I will say it was absolutely delicious. You could really sense the quality of the chicken, the ingredients, and even the potatoes and fries. Next Next, I see this beautiful park that I walk through. I make my way toward this panoramic elevator. It's like a free glass outdoor elevator that not only has iconic views, but it literally gets you from the top of this hill to the bottom. The price is free. And it's really interesting because it's, I thought there would be like a line, I thought you might have to pay, and no, it's just an elevator. And it's, there's nobody working there, There's it's just you take an elevator, and it's obviously a lot of tourists, but it's not just used for a tourist attraction, it's actually used to get Get from the top of the hill to the bottom so even locals are using that regularly i also find this pretty interesting you have a beautifully designed public bathroom and as an american i'm so not used to seeing uh, public toilets available like this, especially so clean and modern. I walk some more and get a bit lost. Everyone is setting up for massive parties tonight to celebrate their public holiday. Next, I make my way back to the main square where they're getting ready for a changing of the guard ceremony. I go to the House of Chocolate, which apparently is like a famous dessert place here. You pick your chocolate on a stick first, then they bring you heated milk, and then you mix your chocolate into the milk until it dissolves and basically becomes hot chocolate. Like in the Christmas movie, it tastes so delicious and the price is $5. Next, I go rest a bit because everyone says there is going to be a lot of events and parties tonight. I randomly happen to be here during the celebrations of the birthday of the Grand Duke. This is an event that obviously only happens once a year, um, but because of the pandemic, it hasn't happened in a few years. So the energy is absolutely insane right now. You just see so many people that are so excited. 
uh, to party and there's fireworks later, so let's go check it out. Everyone's setting up, so it's time to check things out as the festivities get underway. I'm feeling hungry and I meet some cool Lebanese expats who are living here in Luxembourg. Together we enjoy all the crowds and festivities where you have so many people coming together to eat and celebrate the event. I get a hot dog because that's just what they seem to be eating here even though I totally don't usually eat them. Five dollars. Next, I grab a locally made beer. The price is also $5. And because I'm still a bit hungry, next I buy these fries and the price is, yep, you guessed it, $5. So the fireworks show is coming up in about five minutes, but we heard that the Grand Duke has arrived and uh, it would be really interesting, especially coming from the US, to see the Grand Duke because this is something we certainly do not have. Uh, in America. The night ends with an incredible fireworks show. Again, totally reminds me of Disneyland because of just how magical this place is. So I did it. I spent a day in Luxembourg. I totally didn't break the bank, but I also did not deprive myself either. This was a country I knew so little about. In fact, I made a whole nother video about why Luxembourg is so rich, so make sure you subscribe and follow to watch that. And check out my other cities where I give myself a cash challenge budget. From Paris to Dubai and San Diego. Let me know in the comments how would you spend your money in Luxembourg where should I go next and what's my budget